Ads here from Herman Hits the Road. Uh, we've recently been given one of these. This is a Bluetti Power Oak AC50S. Uh, it is a portable power station. Um, you can basically charge most electrical products with it. It has 500 watt hours and 300 watt lithium battery. Um, it's not that heavy. It's, uh, it weighs in at 6.2 kilograms, so you can. Uh, it's totally portable. Uh, this blue uh, casing is rubber, um, but it doesn't mean it is waterproof or shockproof. It comes in two other colours, other than blue, grey, and like an orange. We have many uh, outlets on the front. We have four three amp, five volt USB ports. You have a PD 45 watt charger. It's like um, a USB three port, which you can use to charge laptops and uh, iPads, that kind of thing. Here we have two 300 watt AC out plug sockets. We also have, can be described as a cigarette charger or accessory charger, 12 volt outlet there uh, we also have a couple of three amp dc outs 12 volts again and then this is the display it tells you the inputs how much energy is going into it so when you're charging it how many watts are coming out of the dc and how many watts are coming out of the ac this little bar here tells us how full it is and you can switch the dc and the ac on and off whenever you want to with these two buttons now we can power down the whole thing with this button on the top here is a wireless charging point. So you can take your phone, if it has to be compatible of course, and just place it on there. There you go, and it starts charging. On the back, we have a light. So it's bright, medium, and then we have SOS. All, all ways of charging go through this port here. Uh, so you get uh, an AC adapter, 12 volt car adapter. The solar panel as well comes with a, a uh, and a connector as well to fit in there. Now in the bag, I've got all those things. So this is for the this is the 12 volt connector, of course, and uh, the, all the wires for the uh, solar charging. And now the solar charging itself is just a simple push fit design. Just clip them together, and uh, very very simple. And this bag on the side is very handy for the instructions. Uh, and all the cables you need. Now the uh, this is the SP120 120 watt portable foldable solar panel. It has an IP rating of 65 which means it's dust and waterproof so you can have this outside while the power bank itself is inside. So how much do they cost? Well, the, the power bank itself, that costs £500. Although, when I went to record this video, I, had a, I took a look at the, uh, the website and they've got a discount on it at the moment. So that might still be there when you go yourself. And I'll put a link in the video description uh, of where you can purchase them. Uh, the solar panel, that's uh, an additional £300. Things that you want to uh, be aware of are uh, the plug sockets down here. Down here are too close to the bottom. Now in the UK, our plugs stick out a bit, and then the wire comes down the bottom like this. Okay, this is the uh, adapter for our 12 volt television, uh, and as you can see, that is going to be a bit of a problem if I plug that into there. All right, so that is going to kind of foul the table and bend the wires. So I don't particularly want to do that. It's just a good job that this, that our TV comes, uh, can be used with a 12 volt. So we'll probably pl plug that into there. Uh, so that's one thing. Um, do not use this uh, on the beach or in a dusty condition, uh, a dusty location. It is not dust proof. Uh, either side you have these vents, both sides as you can see. You've got these handles here which I imagine dust can get, uh, sand can get around here. So the instructions do actually specifically say do not use on a beach 
or in dusty in a dusty location so yeah you don't want to get dirt inside it um the other thing is when you're charging especially when you're charging with ac uh the fan is a bit noisy i think as personal preference i think the fan is a bit noisy this is a pretty good decent piece of kit what we're going to be using it for um, various things um, i'm going to be using it to charge my uh, laptop mainly the fact that it's got an inverter on it we don't have an inverter in our motorhome so that is awesome and uh, i intend uh, to use these with our slow cook in fact in fact um, the rest of this video is going to be testing and uh, trialing things that we can plug into it at the same time, see if they work. So our 170 watt slow cook is all ready. I've just got vegetables in there. Uh, this is also on 100%. I've just fully charged this and all i have connected is the slow cook uh so let's get the ac on so it's now it says on zero watts being used i'm going to turn this on to low which is just there well it's on the fans just kicked in 76 watts so it works but i need to know if it's actually going to cook me dinner. Current time is 9.35. Well, it's, uh, it's just run out of juice about a minute ago. The time is 2.30, so it's been going for five hours and uh, it's still on low. So let's take a look at what it looks like, see if it's cooked. I don't think it is actually. Uh, the pork looks done, although I only put that in a couple of hours ago. Uh, but the root vegetables, this is this this here is sweet potato. It still feels hard, so it works fine, but it doesn't have enough juice to uh, finish a meal in me slow cooker here, uh, which is a shame really because I was really hoping to take the slow cook and uh, use the, um, the power oak to power it in the motorhome when we're off grid. Anyway, experiment over. Let's take a look at some other uh, things that we can plug into it. It'll also charge a camera, two phones, the remote for a drone, and the drone batteries, all for 61, 62 watts. So now I'm charging my laptop uh, through the PD45 port there. Uh, I've got my phone on top also charging and uh, got my MiFi plugged into the uh, 12 volt uh, DC just there. And we are using 33 watts, 38 watts. You can charge a toothbrush off of it Next, we'll try out this 12 volt vacuum cleaner from Halfords. It is charging, it's drawing 9 watts. The light on here is on. <laughs> 75, 76 watts when I turn that on. So, uh, yeah, it seems to use that quite well. Actually, we're up to 147 just then. The next thing we have is a 1600 watt hair dryer. So I'm not expecting this to uh, work. It should probably end up tripping it. Yeah, straight away. Got to over 300 watts and then it's now given us an E336 watts error. Okay, what about these? So these are hair straighteners. 30 watts it says on here. Let's see what happens. So AC is on again. 
So let's, uh, I guess I'll just turn them on. How do they work? How do you turn them on? <laughs> oh, there you are. Oh, 270, 280, 290, 316 watts. It's going back down again. 200. So they're definitely, they're definitely on, the light is on, they're working, initially it went all the way past 300 but now it's settling down at 90 watts. So the initial boost, which you're going to get with heating elements and that of such like, yeah that's on now, that's quite warm. So hair tongues work, hair dryer doesn't, and vacuum works. I've now got it plugged into the motorhome see what happens when we uh, switch that on the fans come on and it's got 160 170 watts coming out of the uh, of the uh, AC there so nothing should be on we're still running on gas the fridge is on mind if we switch the uh, the fridge off then we would just it'd be useful to just charge our batteries so we could definitely use the uh, ac50 to charge the batteries switch everything off because you because what happens here this is our um immersion heater now if I've, I've just been so the fridge is still on if i switch that on then it actually switches off so there you go it's not lit at the moment but watch this lit and switches off straight away we could definitely charge the batteries off of off the ac50 but we couldn't run much off of there probably run the fridge don't know how long it would last though so we're doing our first charge at the moment you can see the red light there on the power pack and uh, it is bringing in about 88 watts there from from our 230 volts uh, that's 60 percent charge and that noise you can hear is the actual fan sounds a bit like a jet engine so I wouldn't want to have this going on at night in your bedroom well, this is the first time we've uh, set up the solar panel uh, it's a bit windy it's today uh, so I've had to tie it down um, you can see here that it's um, <clears throat> tied out through the little it's just this hole here to tie it through all right there's only that hole and there's one at the other end but we kind of want one this end as well but all we have is a strap right so I've kind of fangled a uh, uh, some string through the, uh, the legs here and uh, just hopefully that's uh, well that's been working so far the actual uh, AC 50 fan is on again out of the Sun it's supposed to be out of the Sun uh, if I check this out 102 103 watts coming through there can you see that incredible incredible so hopefully you found this video uh, interesting if you did don't forget to give it a thumbs up um, hope you like the uh, the Bluetti AC50S, uh, good piece of kit. I'll leave links in the video description. And uh, until next time, thanks for watching. Goodbye.